Hi, and welcome back to The Momentators. Today's topic is, it is, is it appropriate for stay-at-home moms to hang out with stay-at-home dads, whether it's a play date with the kids or just having lunch together? So let's talk about this. What do you guys think? I think it's totally fine. I'm like, I'm gonna come right, there's- Totally fine. Totally fine. In every case. I, in every sense. In every sense for In every me, town. I, well, <laughs> definitively, there is never, no, of course there's, I'm sure there are people who are, there would be problems, but for me, I never, I never have any problem with it. Do there's, you hang out absolutely. with other absolutely. stay-at-home dads? Mm -hmm. And so, and is your, does your husband also stay at home at times? Like, do you he, guys he, share he that? He does. Okay. Like, right now, he's going and taking our son to a play date with a stay-at-home mom. What does she look like? Right now? Ah, right now. As we speak. <laughs> okay, thank you. As we speak. Oh my How God. pretty is she? Did you get a picture of her before you sent him? I know her. Okay, wait, but, uh, but is that relevant? I, no, you think not. to me, okay, okay, so my husband and I are both actors. We work all the time with varying degrees of attractive people all the time. We have love scenes with these other people all the time. It doesn't bother me. My husband, okay, my husband can heat that pot anywhere he wants as long as he cooks it at home. Oh, I like <laughs> that. Well, okay, it all does right. does not matter to me. He knows okay. I love him, he loves me. We're both actors, we're fine okay. with that. So we, we need to trust each other. I well, have so, so much is... trust with him and he has so much trust with me. It doesn't even enter my mind that there would be something weird going on. But that's also an unusual, so, as actors, you guys have been through this particular topic about True. interacting with people of the opposite sex and and really needing to interact, sometimes even in a physical, romantic, Absolutely. sexual, mm -hmm. well, maybe not sexual, I don't know what kind of things you're acting in. Yeah. <laughs> That's soft um, it's not, we're not going there. <laughs> and, but a lot of people haven't had that, right. needed to have that conversation so in their relationships. I think it's a, a discussion you have to have, but I, I don't know why there would be problems if there's trust on both sides. I, I trust my husband and we mm -hmm. trust each other. There's a lot of trust. Um, but I think that there's sort of boundaries with, um, you know, men and women, if they're both heterosexual and you're hanging out, it's natural sometimes for one to feel a, a slight attraction for the other or slight or major attraction, you know, depending. But um, and even if you don't act on it, sometimes it can be uncomfortable. So where do you say, like, I'm not going to have this play date because I feel that this other person might be attracted to me and I don't want to put them in a position or myself in a position where it gets a little bit uncomfortable. So I think it's something to think about, you know, even if you trust your, your marriage and mm -hmm. um, it's something to, to, to think about. So and there's I, a potential there where you wouldn't have that if like two stay-at-home dads were together that were straight or two right. stay-at-home moms yeah. were together that yes. were straight. And but I, it's case by case, I, I think. I agree with what Liz is saying. And it does depend on the ramifications that you have set up in your relationship. And it's bigger than just a mom going on a play date with a dad. It's about do you allow your spouse or the person whom you're dating to commingle consistently with the opposite sex? Do That's you allow them? Not when I say allow, you know what I'm trying to say. Right. I mean, is that the no, is that the norm that you're setting forth? You know, but if do you you're feel hanging out a lot, it might they That's might build saying. a bond. What kind and of bond? A bond, even if it's not a sexual bond, it might be a bond that goes beyond the marriage that you have, and you might feel like you know, even if something sexual is not happening, maybe there's something. It's not. It's it's too much that they're they're spending too much time together. Um, right, but can't you address that? Like once yeah. that happens, if you have a, a marriage That's or a partnership, by ramifications. Like where are these play dates? Are the play dates in the park or are these play dates in the house? There is a line where a play date between opposite sex becomes inappropriate. I personally feel that if you're on a play date with the opposite sex, it shouldn't be in the home consistently. I think that your home is your sanctuary, and that a marriage or a true monogamous relationship is something that you do have to see as sacred, and you have to protect it. And that's why I agree with you, Liz, that when you, you know, while you may trust your spouse um, and you're having genuine interaction with someone else, you still have to value that safe place or that space is set aside just for a marriage. And I think that that's why ramifications and communicating in advance are important. So again, I say the home for me when it comes to a play date, if my husband wanted to do a play date with another woman and our child, it would have to be outside in a public place. Neutral not in the, territory. Yes. Huh. Neutral yes. territory. Not in an intimate yeah, I would setting. Make that distinction. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Well, the playground is very safe because there's other people yeah. around and there's no, you know, I, I, I have had um, 
situations where I've had um, stay at home a stay at home mm -hmm. dad in my house for a play date, um, and at the time, I mean, this is a, a person who I would never think would be I would never be attracted to them, and they would you know I would hope they're not attracted to me. Mm -hmm. Different age range and. Um, but but that's occasional. When it becomes a, when it becomes know, consistent, yeah. that's when I think it's something to be reevaluated. Because to say that your spouse or your mate can never go on a play date with the opposite sex is a little tight. Oh, it's a little tight. Yeah, yeah. But when it's consistent or a part of a routine, I think it's something that needs to be surveyed. Does that mean that your spouses don't have friends of the opposite gender? No, that's different. Because yeah, because that's because that that's to me the, like that's yeah. That's the same thing. Adam has friends that are Adam is my husband. Uh, he has friends that are girls, and I don't even think anything of it. Like, okay. well, so that, I, I think, think it, it depends on the person. Like mm -hmm. my husband, I just feel we've had this conversation about can you be friends? Like, are you? He's like, well, right. I'm can, not. Can I'm, men and women be friends? Like, ultimately, this big question that comes right. up all the time in the our Harry culture, like Sally question. exactly, <laughs> right? Like, when, can men and women and not who really. are both straight, you know, actually really be friends? And, and I think they can. They can. Thank you. But, there's but I don't usually, think everyone agrees. Yeah, I, I feel like there's usually at one point someone is crushing on the other at some point I when, agree with when you. you're really, yeah. When I, it's I just two think, heterosexual yes. people of the opposite sex, I think it's a part of human nature exactly. for an attraction to come forth but because that's that, what we were designed to do. Attraction I, isn't necessarily a problem. I can be attracted to a variety of people. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to act on it, and that doesn't mean that I can't be friends with. I have tons of guy friends. My husband has a lot of female oh, friends. I wouldn't act on it either, but never, I just. It, but it's never. I've never felt like, oh no. But to I, not acknowledge be, something is when surprises come. It's the person that says, oh, I'll never cheat. It's the person that says, oh, it'll never happen to me. You're shocked to find out when it does. When we when we don't acknowledge that there's a possibility, that's when it's dangerous. Well, but when a, you have ramifications in place, you already are kind of aware. Okay, well, I'm having a play date with a dad. This is what it is. To someone and not act on it. Of I mean, course, I don't know, but like, ha but to be oblivious or act naive about it is problematic. I tell my husband, I'm like, oh, that guy's attractive, and he goes, oh yes, he probably is. Oh yeah, well, no, and I, I think there's a difference. difference. But I don't think that's what Liz is like, talking about. No. Acknowledging that someone is attractive and feeling attracted to them can also be two different things. Yeah, that's yes, true. Yeah. But so I'll it's tell like you. if I have a male friend and I have lots of male friends, you like close friendships, like yeah. over time, and you know, I think what you guys were talking about that sort of a relationship between a stay-at-home mom and a stay-at-home dad that became consistent or they were always in each other's homes or something, to me, that's an indication of a friendship. Yeah. Certainly, you have to keep a you, you have to keep boundaries clear, and you, you have to, to keep an eye on that. your relationship. Right. I agree right. with you, Liz. Exactly. I'm yeah. so I'm so there are bonds that are yeah. that are formed, and you know, I I can just say from experience that I, I could tell um, that by having playdates with um, a, a, a another stay-at-home dad that I I felt like, um, I think that, and maybe I was wrong, but I felt a vibe of like, this guy is attracted to me and is crushing on me, and this mm. is uncomfortable for me. So if that happens, then what? Because that doesn't then always I, happen. Then it's a pullback. Yeah. Then it's like, I'm sorry, I'm not available this week. Yeah. Right. Right, and it's not a, it's not I don't like you. I don't want to hang out with you. It's like I need I need to give you that space. You need to calm it down. But I think if you're open with your spouse or your partner, or whoever you're in this relationship with, and you guys talk about these things, I don't know that it's a, a problem to to have these play dates or to have no. these friends. No, but if it's uncomfortable for you, even if you talk to your no, 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 spouse, absolutely. if you're like, I just don't want them if to feel that way about me. Don't do it at all. But I don't and know, you know that else? you can make a definitive. Well, I'm not going to do this, and my husband can't do this, and and all that because I think that you can lose out on having a really great great relationship with another person. I think your kids can lose out on having a great relationship with right. other kids. I and think I think it's also, you have to remember that you're modeling something for your children, correct. whatever you're doing. So if you're in that situation where you get that vibe and you just, I think it's good not only for you and your relationship with your husband, but also for your kids to yeah. see you setting those boundaries. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Yeah. Or to see or to show, on the other hand, that men and women can, can have really There's supportive also, relationships on, around like home related yes. family no, related things. You know? I mean I I'm not saying that I've you know, I, I definitely still have these play dates or or um, you know, get togethers with, you know, other dads, but um, I have to say, like, I, my husband knows I'm, I can be a naturally flirtatious person. Mm -hmm. it, in my head, I'm not flirting, but it's the way I'm speaking, and it may come off to that person that, oh my gosh, she likes me. 
when they're so wrong. I yeah. don't. <laughs> I am so not attracted to that person, but I... I think you should just start off being like, I feel really friendly toward you. I yeah. don't like you. Now let's finish and, our conversation. Right, exactly. Like, <laughs> right. As long as you're honest, that's right. what I'm, as long as you're honest and forthright and you're genuine, I think it would squash any unnecessary behavior. Right. And I just think that, I just know for me personally, it's nice to show my child, you know, that you can coexist with the opposite sure. sex. I think for me personally, I would not want my husband consistently having play dates with other women. With, or with like one specific person. Yes. Right? I'm taking the words out of my mouth. Right. Yes. I think that's it. Yeah. It's like, it's okay but, if like. But what if that just becomes a friendship? A friendship. Like, if you're married and your spouse finds a person of the opposite sex to become friends with and becomes close with since your marriage began, like that's, well, that's I, reasonable. Okay, let's be honest here though. Yeah. Men, I'm not saying all men, but many men think very sexually, like yeah. for a lot of situations. So even if you, on the outset, you think, oh, they're just friends, it's platonic, platonic, in their head, when they're having sex with you, they might be fantasizing about that woman. And I agree, Liz. This is the truth, and though. The reality, and if you Whoa. ask men, men are more... That is a huge jump. No, that but it's the truth. Liz is being honest with us today. I'm being honest. Truth. Truth. I'm being honest. <laughs> men are men. They are built a certain way. I'm not I don't saying... Think all men and are built and that way. You don't know what's in your husband's head and when he's having you sex with you. I'm not saying he's fantasizing about other women. I'm just saying. I'm just saying men in general, they're very... They think... They go to sex much yeah. quicker than women yeah. in their heads. And I'm I sorry, but men are more physical, I women are more emotional. No, but I and think it's, in, it's too innocent to think that they don't that's naive. think sex with other women. And you if you I'm don't saying? acknowledge it, you might get shocked one day. I, I don't, <laughs> I'm not saying guys don't think about sex. Of course they do, of course they do. I just don't, th I think it's a really, really big jump to go from my kids are having a play date to now I'm going to make love to my wife, but I'm going to fantasize about this other mom. I, uh, I have, girl, welcome I, to I the real happen. world. Oh my anyway. goodness. Uh. But if it does, I mean, okay, that could happen regardless of what, what, who's having Correct. a play date. Of course, like, of course, he, a, of course. A, a person can see somebody on the subway and then fantasize uh, about I just think, having, you know what, you're women, right, you're right. women do that too. You don't have let's, any control yeah. over since that. Since we're talking about play dates, let's be real about it. There are enough women in our communities or that we know to set up play dates with as opposed to having a play date with a man. But what about your husband? My husband is sometimes stay at home, so he's supposed to not go to any play dates and my son's supposed to no, be no, isolated no, because... No, he should, but maybe, maybe <clears throat> as long as, as you keep it open. And, and I think that that's, you know, just to kind of wrap up what we're talking about here, I think that, um, you know, it, it, open communication, um, knowing that men are men and women are women when we're talking about heterosexual. And being honest. And it's being honest. Be and also be honest with yourself yeah. about what's going I want, on I here. Want to say, I want to say, I, want, I hope that we get some comments from stay-at-home dads. I hope okay. so. If you're a stay-at-home dad, I want to hear from you. <laughs> that's topic. right. Please. On that we're not, they're not getting represented at all by us. No, that's true. Yeah. So I hope, right, we hope some dads are watching too. And um, on that note, thank you for watching this episode of The Momentators. And please subscribe subscribe so you could watch more of us and also leave your comments below because we do we want to know what you think of this topic and our other topics as well so thank you so much and keep watching